Hello everyone. If you sell printable wallets on Etsy or if you are planning to sell, you must understand that your product listing visual are the most important element of your store. Of the two listing images you see on your screen, which one do you think is more likely to make a sale? I think you guessed it right. Using a good frame mockup image to showcase your artwork is very crucial. In this video, I will teach you how and where to find good mockup template how to improve your product listing to get more clicks and conversion and finally how to generate mockup in automated batches that will save you hours and hours of your time i see most of the seller who make the mistake and do not give proper thought to plan out their product listing images your store will be as good as the images you use in it when you plan your listing images you should keep the following in your mind first the primary image of your listing should be contrasting and stand out from the crowd and second it should be aesthetically pleasing to get a click not a clickbait thumbnail like how youtubers use but aesthetically pleasing to match the customer search query on etsy the best way to figure this out is by taking inspiration from successful etsy seller you know they are successful so they must be doing something that is correct isn't it so let us jump on etsy and stock a few successful printable store the first store that i have for you is neptune art print he has over 30000 in sales now take out your notebooks and start taking note the first thing to notice in this store is consistency all the listing use the same frame mockup and have the same neutral wall color let me open this solar system listing with a single frame wow did you notice something the thumbnail of the actual listing images are cropped If you closely look here there is so little space between the frame edge and the border of the thumbnail however if you look here the space is significant which means there is inevitable cropping that is done by etsy this is very crucial you need to keep a note of it now scrolling to the other images in the listing the second image is nothing but the same mock up but with a different frame color fine the third one is a lifestyle image with an oblique angle The fourth one is again a lifestyle image. The fifth one is a detailed close-up shot of the artwork. The final image is one what I call an info image. Now, uh, let us pull out our notebook and take notes. First, it has two lifestyle images, one close-up image showing the details, one info image, one extra image similar to the primary image. I am not sure if you noticed, but the wall color for all the images are the same neutral grey color. Now, let us jump on our next Etsy store. Lila and Lola. Uh, this store has over one hundred forty thousand in sales. The first look at their listing shows some degree of consistency, but not entirely consistent as the previous store. I'll click on this Picasso dog art listing. The first primary image is a neat frame with a matte board. The wall color used gives a great contrast to the artwork. Okay, so the second image is a video. I did not expect that, but it looks pretty lively. Uh, definitely, it's gonna catch the customer's attention. Uh, let me know in the comment if you want to learn how to do video mockup. Uh, if I get enough request, I'll make a separate video. Uh, moving on, the third image is a lifestyle image. The fourth one is again a lifestyle image with an oblique angle. The shadows and the sun rays on the frame makes it look so realistic. Uh, definitely a good choice here. Moving on to the fifth image in the listing, it is also a lifestyle image but with a contrasting green background here. The sixth image is again the front-facing mockup, and final one is an info image. Let us take out our notebooks again. This listing also uses the same wall color except one lifestyle image. It has similar consistency as our previous store. The primary image for both the store is a front-facing frame with neutral wall color and focal point being the artwork itself. So I think we have collected a pretty decent standard to follow for our listing. We'll need around five to six images for our product listing, including some lifestyle images. a very good friend of mine sent me this city map artworks i'll be using this as a demo project to show you how i create the mockup let us hunt down the mockup templates that i'll be using my favorite place to go for mockup template is creative market since we need more than one mockup template i'll search for the query frame mockup bundles and hit enter i'm created with wonderful mockup bundles Take your time and explore the different bundles here. I like this Frema bundle. 
it has the consistency that I'm looking for. And to be honest, I have already purchased it for this demo. Many of you at this point may be wary of investing money to purchase the mock-up bundles. I'll leave a link to some free mock-up templates in the description. But I am of the philosophy that if you are trying to build a good business, it requires an investment. With the investment comes your commitment that you are serious about it. And obviously this beautiful mock-up shouldn't come for free. Now let us jump on Photoshop and create the mock-up files. Uh, this is the mock-up bundle that I downloaded from Creative Market. Uh, we have Photoshop mock-up PSD files here. And corresponding to the PSD files, we have JPG preview of the mockups here. I'll go ahead and select the five files that I'll be using for our listing. I will select the files in accordance with the research that we did earlier. One primary image, a couple of lifestyle images. I have selected five images. I'll copy this and paste it inside the PSD folder. Now we can select the corresponding PSD mockup file. I'll copy this and create a new folder here, mockup template and paste all the files here. Now for the files to make a better sense, I'll rename them. Uh, this will be our primary image. Uh, this one we can rename as lifestyle oblique one. Likewise, uh, I'll rename all the files. There is no use of JPG images now. So I'll go ahead and delete them. Now we will resize this mockup templates to meet Etsy listing size guidelines. Do you remember what sizes Etsy recommends? Well, we need not worry about it because I'll copy the size from this listing. I'll right click and select copy image. Uh, go to Photoshop, then file, new. Uh, as you could see, the copied image size is already present as a clipboard here. So I'll click on create and now paste it using control V. The listing image is pasted as a new layer. And at the bottom, you can see the size as 794 pixel into 794 pixel. This is the exact size the store is using. We can go one step further and double the size. Because as per my experience, listing images with sizes less than 1000 pixel has poor quality. So I'll go to image, image size, change the pixel value to percent and put 200 and hit enter to double the size. Changing the person does not change the aspect ratio. So there will be no difference when we upload the image on Etsy. Now the current size is 1588 pixels into 1588 pixels. Now I will resize all our mockup template to this size. I'll open the first PSD template. To change the size, I'll go to image canvas size, put the value as 1588, 1588. Hit OK. The template is resized except the individual layers. I'll select all the layers and press Ctrl T. Pressing Ctrl T will activate the anchor point and using the cursor, I'll manually resize to fit the canvas. There will be some inevitable cropping involved. So I'll make use of my sound judgment and fit the layers accordingly. I'll follow the same steps and resize the other mockup templates. Now, I will resize this primary template. It is important to show you how I resize the primary template. Because if you recall, the primary images are cropped by Etsy for the thumbnail image. I would like it to be perfect as the Neptune art store. First, I'll resize it to the set size, image, canvas size, 1588, Now, I'll go to this listing image we had copied earlier. And now duplicate this layer onto our primary template. I'll press Ctrl R to bring the rulers and now drag and put two guides at the edges of the frame. Now I'll press Ctrl T, follow this guide to resize the other layers. Now this primary template is perfect. With that being done, all our mockup templates are optimized and resized as per Etsy sizes. It's time to generate the mockups now. First, I'll show you how to create the mockups manually. I'll open one of the templates. 
I don't want the matte board, so I'll turn off the visibility here. To create the mockup, I'll have to look out for the smart object layer. Smart object layer can be identified by a small icon at the bottom right corner of layer thumbnail. Just as you see in this layer that reads add design here 3 into 4 ratio. I'll double click on the smart object icon. It will open a new tab document. I will drag and drop or map design images here. The first one is Los Angeles gold. Uh, once I save this, the template will be automatically updated. There you see the template is automatically updated. Now I can go ahead and export it. I can follow the same step to create mockups for all the design and templates I have. However, uh, there is one easier and quicker way to complete this mundane task in an automatic way. For that, we'll be using our Photoshop extension Bulk Mockup. To start Bulk Mockup, we'll go to Windows Extension Bulk Mockup. I'll click on Start Bulk Mockup. The dialog box appears. The first field asks us to enter the mockup template location. I'll hit Browse, select our mockup template. The second field is our export location and the final field is our design location. Once all the field values are entered, I'll hit run bulk mockup. Bulk mockup will automatically open the first mockup template and it will start creating the mockup. You can see yourself at this export window here. It now opens the second mockup template. Likewise, it will open one by one all the mockup template and create the mockup. Within 5 minutes, all mockup templates are exported. Bulk mockup is an incredible time saver tool. One cool thing to notice is that the mockups are organized into subfolder. Each subfolder corresponds to one product listing. If you want to learn more about bulk mockup, visit our website www.bulkmockup.com. If you have any mockup question, do ask in the comments. You'll find a link to all the mockup templates in the description. Uh, thank you for watching this video till the end. Uh, do consider subscribing for more cool mockup videos.